Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PhotoP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how you can do a glitch effect in PhotoP. And it's going to look a little bit like this. And it's super easy to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is have your image right here. And once you have your background image, just hit Control J to duplicate that. So you can see over here, we have two layers now. I'm just going to delete the background layer. And I'm going to rename the top layer to um, just anything else. So I'll just do like glitch. I'll just name it glitch or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is double click on this layer and go on to blending options and uncheck this red channel. So now if you hold left click with your move tool and move it a little bit, you can see that it'll give it a cool glitch effect. And we already have it looking really cool. So I'll show you how to take it to the next level. So go ahead and go over here to your rectangle select tool. Zoom in on anywhere on him. So I'll just go to like his head or something and draw a little rectangle that goes through him. And now just use your move tool and move it to the left a little bit. And you can just do this a ton of times with different parts, different sizes. And it'll give it a really cool look in the end. So let me just do some of this. Okay, so I did it to a few parts of his body and now it's got a cool like glitch look to it. As you can see here, um, you could take it to the extreme and just add a bunch of them. It's completely up to you. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Super easy to do as well. Here's a cool glitch look. I'm actually going to undo that. It was a little too much. There we go. Just hit Control D to deselect when you're done. And there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.